Ahoy hoy, and welcome to SCP Memes, where I cover the dank memes from the dank memes from Site19 subreddit. I'm trying a new setup today. I have my camera now finally up on a, uh, well, a boom mic stand, I guess. I've managed to fit a, well, I've managed to fit the camera on top of it. I have another microphone stand coming in, but I don't have it right now. So I'm kind of holding on to this and hoping that it works properly for this one episode. Should be in tomorrow so I can hook it in over there and then just slide it over and I'll be perfectly fine. But in the meantime, we're going to do this in a very bootleg way where I'm literally holding the microphone in front of my face. So uh, you may hear some rustling and or uh, changes in tone, I guess. Which way is the front? This is the front, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the front of the microphone. So let's get started on looking at the memes. I'm also trying it on uh, to stream directly to my computer. <laughs> so we can, uh, it may be a little laggy. I think there's, a, it looks like there's a little bit of, yeah, it looks like there's a little bit of, I don't know. I'm looking at a preview, so I don't know if it's any good. But uh, hopefully by Thursday, I will have a setup where I can literally just switch stuff on and start recording and not have to worry about all this setup. Which right now is actually pretty. This was just one switch, two switch, another switch for the light that's hooked onto the top of the camera already, and I just started recording, and we're good to go. So, all right, let's uh, let's let's take a look at the memes. There's not a whole lot of them today, but I've made up for it by the fact that I'm going to talk a lot about each and every single one of them. I don't know that for sure. Things are bad now, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel. The light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Uh, that reminds me of the thing I worked with uh, SCP Illustrated on. The uh, There's a interesting, we'll call it, yeah, well, it's a When Daybreak story. So it's a When Daybreak story for, uh, that I did with uh, SCP Illustrated. It should be quite interesting when the time comes. <laughs> SCP-682 is the most powerful SCP. That's infographics. SCP-343, SCP-231-7, SCP-001, or at least most of them, SCP-3999, SCP-2845, <laughs> and then the outside, 3812, you know, there's a lot of 3812 stuff, I should probably read that one, because everyone keeps referencing it, and I have no idea what they're talking about, nothing at all, um, <laughs> but, um, I mean, me personally, I would be like, what about SCP-2343? Far more powerful than 343. Maybe. It's, it depends. They're all reality warp. Well, most of them are reality warpers anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, when anyone says SCP-682 is the most powerful SCP, it shows a very limited scope of what they consider powerful in the world. But it is what it is. You can't... Uh, can't change how people look at the world, even if you think it is stupid. Y'all, 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 the boss. I've actually done this in typing. I don't know if I've ever said y'all. I don't even think I say y'all that much in real life, but I do type it. I like saying y'all. How y'all doing? Because there is no word in the English language. Well, there is no non-slang word in the English language for the collective you, which is the reason for y'all or use or use guys. Although to be fair, the least, <laughs> the most gender neutral version is y'all because you guys and use guys both, you know, not gender neutral, but y'all is just you all. But, um, the thing is that like, I don't know when I'm typing, sometimes I do make things a little shorter. Y'all I've done this before and people are like, what's that? I'm like, should have or shouldn't have scp foundation goc scp foundation the goc shaking hands and then looking over at the uiu yeah the uiu is the problem i don't know if the uiu well it depends on the it depends on the canon we're talking about it always depends on the canon we're talking about the uiu is not entirely incompetent in every canon you know but it is incompetent in most canons let's be fair the serpent's hand are just some tree huggers. Serpent's hand are dangerous terrorists. The SCP Foundation going back and forth. I think what it is is that, like, when it's convenient for them, they describe them as harmless. And when it's convenient for them, they also describe them as incredibly dangerous. Um, 
The answer is actually probably somewhere in between. They're not that dangerous, but they're also have the potential to be incredibly dangerous. Uh, I think what happens is generally that uh, the SCP Foundation kind of... It depends on what the SCP Foundation is trying to do as to whether or not the uh, Serpent's Hand is particularly dangerous to those aims. Sometimes the Serpent's Hand might actually agree with what the SCP Foundation is doing. Not often, but sometimes. Uh, <laughs> certainly more often than when it's the GOC. Um, but then a lot of other times it's like, hey, let's just let everything out and see what happens. Like a bunch of idiots. I think that's really about the portrayal, though. Like, the person that's writing it is the one that's fucking up then. Copyright claim by Infographics. But if Dr. Cromerian... Hey, look at me. <laughs> uh, who shot Hannibal? Anyway, I'm... Oh, man, I did that video, and so many of the comments before were like, oh, I can't believe the infographic show would do this. They're so terrible. They're ended. They're canceled. And I'm like, oh, dear, you didn't actually watch the video, which is borne out by the uh, uh, watch time length. Watch time length is for that video is particularly short. Yes, that's a metric. I know. Each video has an average watch time length, and that one is only like three minutes, even though it's a 10-minute video. Although in the first three minutes, I do cover that the claim was already released, so maybe that's why people just stopped tuning in, but I don't know. I think there's a lot of people that must be, like, just clicking and then clicking away. No way to know for sure, but I do, it is important to know that if the infographic show did release their claim, everything's fine now. Dr. Sumerian makeup tutorial. I actually uh, briefly considered when I was uh, getting this camera set up going of actually cosplaying as Dr. Sumerian and uh, I was going to put uh, like a demon mask, but I was going to cut it so that it would be like right to here only and cover down to here and then wear long sleeves and a black glove on this hand. Um, wait, no, it's the left hand, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's the left. Yeah, 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 it's left. So it would be the other side. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that was the concept behind it anyway, but then I ended up doing something else entirely. So uh, anyway, I just it was too much trouble. And it also seemed kind of silly when I really gave it some thought. The statue, the old man, hard to destroy reptile, the shy guy, the plague doctor, siren. Head. Hey, wait a minute. I, when I first very first was reading this before I, I looked down at the, the bottom of it, I, I took exception. I was like, those have no, uh, the siren has nothing to do with the other ones. And then I saw the joke and was like, oh, oh, of course. That makes more sense. It's not, doesn't belong. It's not one of the Power Rangers. 6A2 wants to kill all life. Immortal SCPs. Mm. I mean, this is going to be pretty hard. But we'll give it a go. And 682 is willing to give it a go. <laughs> the broken church evolving to a good religious group. In some canons, the SCP community. The SCP community and the Horizon Initiative. <laughs> uh, the Horizon Initiative does not get used anymore. Yeah. Abrahamic religions have just kind of fallen by the wayside on the SCP Wiki, which is interesting because Series 1 had a very strong... Uh, Abrahamic religion like tradition and then it just kind of disappeared that's the closest I can get to a whistle going on a random rant after being shown hey hey how dare you say such honest things about me this is unacceptable behavior and 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 there's pretty much nothing I can do about it yeah yeah, that's right. <laughs> I do good tend to go on rants for absolutely no reason. Well, I mean, I think they're usually tangent, usually related somehow. Uh, man, I, I love to hear myself talk, though. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please scroll down, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. It is incredibly, critically important that you hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, what the hell am I even doing here? It's one of the main metrics by which uh, YouTube measures success, and if I ain't got success, what, what am I even making videos for? And <laughs>
Where did that voice come from? And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Dr. J Redacted and Vivi, who have both pledged at $100. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I'll see you all again on Thursday. And hopefully I won't have to hold a microphone at the time that happens.